Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lewis Lewis Speaks 2022, and today I want to talk to you about the perils of being so understanding. You know, when you're so understanding, people feel comfortable giving you the short end of the stick. You know, when you're so understanding and you allow other people to give you excuses or you make excuses for their poor behavior and their negligence, they feel comfortable giving you less. You know, I've learned something really important. People always look for ways to get away with giving you less. They do what I refer to as emotional budgeting. They sit down and they think to themselves or even out loud about all the people in their life in which they can get away with giving less to. You know, they do this emotional budgeting and try to look for ways and people who they can just get a discount from. They know that with certain people, they're going to have to pay full price. They're going to have to show up and act right. But they know that with you, they can get away with giving you less and skimping on you and maybe paying you crumbs. You know, because they know that you'll always be so understanding and fall into their emotions and their excuses. But no, sometimes you got to put a cap on that. You got to let people know. I'm not here for your excuses. You either treat me right, show up, or you're done just like that. And if they leave and walk out, then they never were friends. And consider yourself blessed. Because I've realized that, you know, in the past, I've been so understanding, trying to make allowances for people's imperfections and trying to make space for them. But I realize sometimes you make too much space. You give people an out. You give them a reason to not take you seriously, to give you less. And you don't deserve that. You deserve full price. You deserve what you give to other people. Me, I come correct. I don't try to skimp on people. I give them full price. I give them that asking price because that's fair. I know how I will want to be treated. Therefore, I treat other people with the same courtesy. A lot of people don't feel the same way. They will try to get away with giving you less and you have got to nip that in the bud the first time they try that. See me, I've let it slide, didn't, didn't, like the, didn't want the confrontation, didn't like those hard feelings and those, those uncomfortable feelings that you feel having to confront somebody. You don't want to deal with it, so you just let it slide. But that's your first mistake. When you let things like that slide the first time, that sets a, it sets a precedent. It sets a dangerous precedent where people now feel comfortable with giving you less. And so the first time it happens, you let them know, do me a favor. So we're not bumping heads. This is what I need from you. Now, if they do it again, now it's time for you to erect some consequences because you already set the boundary. Now, what are the consequences when they cross it? That's pretty much how you, how you keep yourself safe. And that's also a form of self-care. That's how you take care of yourself too because a lot of people, and I'll say this again and I keep on saying this, they will try to get away with giving you less. They will look for all the people in their life where they can exact a discount from. And they'll try their best to discount your feelings and disregard you. And even friends and family do that because that's human nature. People are always looking for uh, a deal. They're always looking to benefit. You know, they're always looking to benefit themselves. They're not thinking about your life. They're trying to get themselves at a level where they feel comfortable. But you have to make sure that for one, it's mutual. We're all trying to make ourselves comfortable in this life. But it's about mutuality. You know, if your comfort comes at my expense, nah, and I'll say that again. If your comfort comes at my expense, guess what? We have a problem. So this is the new version of myself that I'm creating now. A person who is definitely creating firm boundaries and maintaining those boundaries. Because I realize that people are like children and they need constant discipline. And boundaries are a form of discipline. You can't change other people's behavior. You can't do that. But what you can do is erect firm boundaries around your life so that way you can keep yourself safe. And that's essential. So this was a short video today, but I hope that this information was beneficial. And please... Don't allow people to discount you and give you less than what you know you deserve. Get your more. Lewis Speaks. Peace.